human history represents such a radical break with the natural systems of biological organization that preceded it, that it must be the response to a kind of uh, attractor or dwell point that lies ahead in the temporal dimension. Persistently, Western religions have integrated into their theologies the notion of a kind of end of the world. And I think that a lot of psychedelic experimentation sort of confirms uh, this intuition. I mean, it, it isn't going to happen according to any of the scenarios of uh, orthodox religion. But the basic intuition that the universe seeks closure in a kind of omega point of transcendence is confirmed. It's almost as though this object in hyperspace, glittering in hyperspace, throws off reflections of itself, which actually ricochet into the past, illuminating this mystic, inspiring that saint or visionary, and that out of these fragmentary glimpses of eternity, uh, we can build a kind of man of not only the past of the universe and the evolutionary ingression into novelty, but a kind of map of the future. This is what shamanism has always been about. A shaman is someone who has been to the end. It's someone so well 
a modern Romeo. You came on Cupid's wings, and then you flew away. You touched my face.